What's up? This your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic, aka Mr. Boston Clinic. First and foremost, I want to pay homage to the late great artist, the formerly known as Prince. Um, great artist, just, just wanted to pay my respects to him. But yesterday, uh, April 26, 2016, um, Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter kicked off their press conference. Um, for that fight, that'll be live on CBS. It will not be PBC. It'll just be straight CBS, which is a, a affiliate of uh, Showtime. Where they're basically the same thing. Um, this fight was originally slated to take place March 12, 2016, in Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun. Thank God that venue was scrapped. I didn't like that venue for this uh, fight. It was just too big of a fight to be at the Mohegan Sun. The Mohegan Sun has has some of the most greatest uh, underrated fights. But I just think this fight was just too big for that venue um, and stature of this fight. Um, yesterday, you know, they kicked off the presser. Uh, Keith Thurman uh, told him that, told Sean Porter that he loved him, but he was going to have to uh, try to put him to sleep. Uh, Sean Porter sounded very confident. Um, you know, Kenny Porter, his father, had to put his two cents in, saying that Keith Thurman couldn't even line two shots on Sean Porter and sparring when they sparred years ago. Um, these two fighters from when they used to spar or when they used to be in the amateurs are like totally two different fighters. You know what I mean? So you cannot even, you know, hold that against them what happened to sparring. Sparring is just a tool. To, it's just to work on different things. You never know what he could have been trying to work on or he could have been trying to experiment on or what Sean would have been doing. So you can't even uh, go back four or five years ago. These two guys are fully grown men in their prime. Um, to get into the strategics, um, for Sean Porter, um, you know he just comes forward. He is, his has no versatility, y'all. Uh, what really hurt, that's what really hurt him in the Kell Brook fight. All he can do is just put his head down and uh, come forward, uh, willing forward with big hooks. Um, he really throws a straight shot, so that's something that Keith Thurman really has to really be on guard for us to keep his hands up uh, to get away from those hooks because Sean does throw hooks at awkward angles and at awkward times. Um, Sean is uh, definitely good in the inside. Um, so um, the difference between this fight and the Kell Brook fight is that um, on Keith Thurman, then we don't know. We haven't seen Keith Thurman really sit in the pocket and be confident to be able to fight in the pocket and operate under that pressure without giving that much movement. Um, Kel Brook just gave enough movement and was calm under pressure in the pocket, um, which, you know, helped him prevail. Um, similar to Kel Brook, Keith Thurman is going to have to really use the one-two because Sean Porter is very easily to hit with the one-two. I know Keith loves the left hook and throwing the left hook, but that right, that, that jab and that right hand is really going to be his ticket if he wants to um, knock Sean Porter out. And then he can set up the jab and right hand and maybe throw a combination or lead off with the left hook to get Sean out of there later in the fight. Um, Sean does have the style to beef Keith Thurman. The thing I'm concerned about with Keith Thurman is his chin and his ability to take those body shots if uh, Sean can get, up, get close enough to pressure him enough. Uh, in that fight and for Sean Porter um, to me he really hasn't been tested since the Kell Brook fight Broner is really not a test um, he's a joke he doesn't take the game serious um, so this is his very very first step to see if he's really really back with the elites of the um, division of Keith Thurman we'll see how he deals with the pressure can he sit down and really operate under pressure in the pocket similar to what Kell Brook did to Sean Porter, or does he just going to have to move and give up ground? And Sean Porter is going to have to cut off the ring to catch him. Um, very interesting to see. Um, but the ticket to this fight is styles make fights. And if uh, Keith can't hold like Kell Brook or can't control distance without holding or educated hold or Keith get hurt, if he doesn't know about time, Sean Porter is very dangerous. And, you know, Sean Porter saw some foreign ability to get knocked down by Broner, but this your boy CJ Goodfellow. Shout out to everybody. We gone.